Hey, what's going on guys? I'm gonna make a short video on how to load and to unload the Minolta X700. Ready, set, go. All right, here we go, time to load. You know, check your rewinding crank, make sure it is rotating freely. Your safe load indicator should be completely black. And then your frame count indicator, it, it doesn't matter what number it's on. Go ahead and grab our film. This time I'm going to be putting in some Ektar 100. 100, very important number. Remember it. So now we're going to set the ASA, the film speed, or nowadays called the ISO. Lift up on the outer ring and rotate it to 100, that very important number I was talking about. Pull up on the little knobby thing to release the back. The little cameras look so nice on the inside. So now you're going to take your film canister, make sure the little knob portion is pointing down and the film lead is going to the right. Don't place it in the camera. And then you're going to lock it in using the rewind crank knob. You're going to push it down. Lock it in. There we go. Pull the film lead across the back of the camera. Now the fun part. We're going to line up these holes into the teeth of the sprocket right down in there. Make sure it catches. There we go. And now you're going to take the film advanced lever, and crank it to get the film tight across the back of the camera. You're going to release the shutter and advance the film until it is tight. No slack. There we go. So that's tight and close at the back. Completely close the back. Make sure it clicks. There you go. And now we're going to release the shutter and advance the film until the indicator on the right side is at one. And it looks like one more. So I release the shutter again, advance the film. And there you go. Now we're ready. That's it. Unloading the fun part. Ah, fun part. Jeez, can't talk today. Film indicator is whatever your film said. So this was 36. Go to the bottom of the camera. There's a rewind release button. Just press it once. And now back to the rewinding crank. You're going to rewind it in the direction of the arrow until it freely rotates. Toward the end of the film, it is going to get a little bit of tension, just push through it, and it should eventually release. Boom, just like that. Goes back up. Now you pull up on the knobby thing again to release the back. If I can get a hold of it. There we go. Pop it open. Now you can tell all the film has been wound back up into the canister. And as you can tell, I can magically turn Ektar 100 into Ilford. Close it in the back. Push down on the knobby thing. And uh, that's it. If this video helped you out, like it. Now, if it didn't, well then don't. If you guys have any questions about the camera, put them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And until the next video, 